So I went to the U.S. Mint's website and pulled down their uh, monthly sales uh, data of American Eagles, 1986 to present. Threw it in some charts here, and I wanted to use this to explain the concept of accumulation and deaccumulation, uh, because that basically, or you know, in any market that you're looking at, whether it's stocks or you know real estate or you know, in this example, uh, American Eagles, the accumulation. If, if there's massive accumulation, that forces prices up. If there's massive deaccumulation, that pro that forces prices down. Um, it doesn't matter what the class or asset class is that you're looking at. Um, this example that I'm going to go through here is just uh, American Eagles. You know, we're just looking at one little thing. We're just looking at the facet of uh, you know American Eagle coins. So his first chart here is total monthly sales of American Eagles 1986 to present. As you can see, you know these these months here. There's every once in a while there's some spikes, and uh, I'll show you know what the, what these spikes are on, a, on another another chart here. But as you can see, in the last two years or so since 2008, there's been massive accumulation of American Eagles. So I mean that that's this is extremely bullish for American Eagles. Now, if I go to the next chart here, this one is a uh, seasonal monthly spot price of silver. So this has nothing to do with American Eagles. This is just the spot price of silver uh, per troy ounce. Now, you know, if anyone wants to comment on this, my theory is in making this chart is if you've got the average monthly price, this is you know all the months of January, you know 1987 to 2010. So this is 23 months of January data, and this is the average price, six dollars ninety two cents per troy ounce. And I also have the median in here. Now the reason I put the average and the median together, and this is you know this is just basically a theory that I was that I came up with here, just play, plotting charts. So you know like I said, comment on it if you, if you think this is stupid or whatever. But if you've got a huge difference between the average and the median, to me that represents volatility or price movement. So, I mean, looking at these charts, the biggest volatility month for U.S. American Eagles is November. Uh, the difference between the average and the median is the, is the biggest is in November. Uh, you also got December and October's up there a bit. Um, the, the lowest months are January, and basically the volatility is the lowest in January, February, and then uh, August and September. So, you know, mid to late spring, you've got your biggest price movements, and uh, October to December, you've got your biggest price movements in, uh, you know, U.S. American Eagles. Uh, next chart is, now this one's massive. This is the accumulational Accumulation seasonal. So th this is basically, um, you know, 23 years of data of total sales of U.S. American Eagle coins for each month. So as you can see, just so many in December. I mean, it's almost double the second month, which is January. So, you know, I mean, looking at this chart, you'd almost say that half of all U.S. American Eagles are are sold in December and January. You have a spike in March, and then the rest of the months are kind of lower. And I mean, you know, July, middle of summer, nobody's nobody's buying American Eagles in the middle of the summer. Uh, and then I got a few other charts here just to show them. Uh, average monthly U.S. dollar per troy ounce going back to 1987 to 2010. Uh, this is average monthly price, so it you know gets rid of the the spikes of the dailies in there. But you know, as you can see, this chart here looks a lot prettier than if you have to have those crazy spikes. Uh, I didn't go back to the you know 70s or whatever. I just put this in here for the U.S. American coin you know charts that I threw in here. Uh, this one's interesting, um, and this is a really uh, kind of a good way to look at uh, trending trending markets to see if uh, the market's trending. It works pretty well on real estate prices and works pretty well on uh, 
uh, stock accumulation kind of gives you an idea of you know the the long term trend uh, of something you take uh, you take the average year over year price as well as the average two year over two years so like the average year over year would be you know the price difference between January this year and January last year then two year would be January this year and January two years before so you know if, if it's kind of like a seasonal chart but it's also showing any major trends and as you can see you know as we all know uh, this uh, price change here since 2007 has just been massive you know upwards so and, and you know just keep going and, and this is American Eagles you know obviously but you know this using this on other asset classes you know you can do all kinds of crazy charts like this and just you know have some fun but yeah US American Eagles uh, I believe the January uh, pre January monthly sales is already three and a half uh, million coins. Uh, I think the all time high. Let me see if I can get back to the beginning here. Uh, I believe the all time high was actually in November. This pre, you know, 2010. So November in 2010, the monthly sales of U.S. American Eagles was 4.2 million coins. We're only two weeks into January, and it is already 3.5 million or 3.4 million. So January looks like we're going to hit far surpass the all-time high of accumulation of U.S. American Eagles. So if you don't have any American Eagles, and I'm sure this applies to, I haven't done it on Maples or, you know, any other coins. Uh, I don't know what other data is available on some of the other Mint uh, sites. But uh, I don't know, I just thought this stuff was interesting. Comment, let me know what you think.